The Battle of Park was fought on February 28, 1728 at the village of Park, near the city of Nashik, Maharashtra, India between the Maratha Peshwa, Baji Rao I and Chin Kalish Khan, first Nizam of Hyderabad. The Marathas defeated the Nizam. The battle is considered an example of brilliant execution of military strategy. Background the seeds of this battle go to the year 1713, when Maratha King Shahu appointed Balaji Vishwanath as his Peshwa or Prime Minister. Within a decade, Balaji had managed to extract a significant amount of territory and wealth from the fragmenting Mughal Empire. In October 1724, the Mughal Emperor Muhammad Shah appointed Nizam ul Mulk as the governor of Deccan. The Nizam set about strengthening the province by attempting to control the growing influence of the Marathas. He utilized a growing polarization in the Maratha Empire due to the claim of the title of king by both Shahu and Sambhaji II of Kolhapur. The Nizam began supporting the Sambhaji faction, which enraged Shahu who had been proclaimed as king. The Nizam further decided to hold short given by many landowners of the Deccan province to the Marathas as had been agreed by the Said brothers in 1719. Battle The battle plan was set by the withdrawal of Baji Arao's army from the southern reaches of the Maratan Empire during May 1727. This was followed by Shahu breaking off negotiations with the Nizam ul Mulk about restoration of the Chorf. The Nizam pursued Baji Arao's army around the vicinity of Pune for about six months where Bardi Rao executed a series of thrust and parry moves to finally corner the Nizam at Parked. The campaign The Parked Campaign of 1728 is notable for two reasons. First, this campaign has been chosen as brilliant in strategy by Field Marshal Montgomery in his book A History of Warfare. Whether this was a completely pre-planned strategy, or clever improvisation in response to circumstances, is not known. Secondly, the success of this campaign established the Maratha supremacy in the Deccan, and gave way for further adventures. It also ensured the handover of the claim of the Chorth and Saj Shmuki from Nizam ul Mulk to the Shahu. Various factors contributed to the campaign of Parked. The primary factor was the suspension of the payment of Chorth and Saj Shmuki by Nizam ul Mulk on the grounds that it was unclear between Shahu and Shambhaji who the rightful claimant of the Chorth and Saj Shmuki was. Also the timing was important because the Peshwa and the Maratha armies were in Karnataka. Existence of hostility between the courts of Sitara and Kolhapur. This hostility was turned to advantage by Nizam ul Mulk who formed an alliance with Shambhaji against the Shahu. Differences between the Peshwa and the Pratanidae. The latter preferred to have good relations with Nizam ul Mulk whereas Baji Rao pursued and advocated an expansionist policy. Event Baji Rao and the Maratha armies were called back from the south from the Karnataka campaign. In May 1727, Baji Rao then asked Shahu to break of negotiations with the Nizam ul Mulk and started mobilizing an army. With the monsoons over and the land ready for this exciting campaign, Baji Rao moved towards Aurangabad. After a skirmish near Jalna with IWAZ Khan, as could have been predicted, Baji Rao moved away from the battlefield towards Burhanpur. Nizam ul Mulk's army pursued Baji Rao. Baji Rao then moved westwards to Gujarat from North Kandish. However, the Nizam ul Mulk gave up the pursuit and moved southward towards Pune. This is an interesting reason and comparison between how the two armies functioned. The Nizam is known to have carried huge armies with him, including supplies to last for the duration of the campaign. In fact, the Nizam used to carry his Janana or women folk with him during his campaigns. The Maratha armies however were very light and found supplies on the way by plundering and looting outposts on the way.
As Nizam ul Mulk left the pursuit of Baji Rao and moved towards the headquarters of the Shahu stronghold, posts like Udipur, Avasari, Pabal, Ked, and Narayangar surrendered to Nizam ul Mulk, who then occupied Pune and advanced towards Super, Patis, and Baramati. In Baramati, Nizam ul Mulk got news of Baji Rao moving towards Aurangabad. Nizam ul Mulk began moving northwards to intercept the Maratha army. By this time, he was confident of crushing Baji Rao and his army. It was not to happen so. The Raja of Kolhapur, Shambhaji, refused to join him in this campaign against Baji Rao. Nizam ul Mulk was cornered in a waterless tract near parts of 25 February 1728. Through IWAZ Khan, the Nizam ul Mulk sent out word of his plight, and his army was allowed to move to the vicinity of the river. Outcome The Nizam was defeated by the Marathas, and signed a peace treaty on March 6, 1728 of the village of Mungai Pathan. By the Treaty of Munji Shivargaon, the Nizam was forced to make certain concessions. Chhatrapati Shahu was recognized as the only Maratha ruler. Marathas were given the right to collect Chorth and Saj Shmaki of Deccan. Those revenue collectors driven out would be reappointed. The balance revenue was to be paid to Chhatrapati Shahu. Quotes. A masterpiece of strategic mobility, British Field Marshal Bernard Monty Montgomery describing the battle in his book, The Concise History of Warfare.